question is a book stall sells 32 books the cost of 10 books is rupees 50 each and he makes profit of 4 percent he sells 15 books at a profit of 3.8461 percentage on the selling price of rupees 70 per book the remaining cost is rupees 576 the remaining books are sold at rupees 74 per book what is his profit what is his profit so this is a contrary question on cost price, selling price and profit. It's a contrary question on cost price, selling price and profit. So we'll have to find out the cost price and selling price of all this, 32 books and find out whether the profit is made or not. See, whenever you talk about selling price and cost price, selling price will always be equal to cost price plus profit in case I make profit. Selling price will be equal to cost price plus profit in case I make profit. Selling price will be equal to cost price minus loss in case I make loss. This is the Bible for all your cost price and selling price problems. Selling price will be equal to cost price plus profit. Selling price will be cost price minus loss in case it is loss. Suppose I purchase an article of 10 rupees, I sell it for 9 minutes, I am making a loss of 1. I purchase an article of 10 rupees, I sell it for 11 minutes, I am making a profit of 1. As simple as this. But by default, by default, if I say make a profit of 10%, this is always on cost. Default is nothing is mentioned. See, for example, here it says, he makes a profit of 4%. Nothing is mentioned. So it is always on cost. I know nothing is mentioned. The profit is on cost. Loss is on cost. But if I make a specific reference that my profit is on something else, like the second statement, he makes a profit of 3.8461 on selling price. Here the default is not applicable. You will have to calculate the profit on the basis of the selling price. You will have to calculate the profit on the basis of the selling price. So, you will have to find out the cost price and selling price of 32 books. So, selling price and cost price, cost price, selling price. So, 10 books is the cost price is given as 50 per book. So, 10 into 50 will be 500. That is 10 into 50 will be 500. And then is, he is making a profit of 4% means on this 500, calculate what is 4%. On this 500 into 4 by 100, will be equal to 20. So he is making a profit of 20 on this. His selling price will be 520. His selling price will be 520. The next 15 books, he is making a profit of 3.841 on selling price of 70 per book. So this selling price in prices, it is 70 per book. So 70 into 15 will be 1050. So the selling price is 1050. The selling price is 1050 but it is specifically mentioned is making a profit of 3.8461 on the selling price this is important on the selling price so default is always on cost but here specifically mentioned that is on the selling price so it is 3.8461 into 1050 so for this zero this decimal come like this then after this because it is percentage so two, dec two decimals will come like this so this will be 523 42 and 19. So 0 will be here and 38461. So this will be 405, 8, 30, 40.38. So it will be decimals like this, 4 plus 2, 6. So here it will be like this. So what happens is he is making a profit of 40.38 on a selling price of 1050. 40.38 on a selling price of 1050. So let us reduce 40.38 from 1050. See here it is 5 decimals. This is 3 plus 2 for 100 because it is percentage. So it will be 40.38 will be 1009.62. 1009.62. Then the remaining books are only 7. The remaining books are only 7 and the cost price is given as 576. Cost price is given as 576 and he is selling each book at rupees 74. So 74 into 7 because it is only 7 books. This will be 518. This will be 518. The selling price is 518. Now total this, this will be 2085.62. This will be 2085.62. This is 2088. Now what happens is, the selling price is more than the cost price. When the selling price is more, is making a profit. So sale minus cost will be equal to profit. Sale minus cost will be equal to profit. So sale is 2088 minus 2085.62 will be 2.38. 2.38. In fact, I was told there was four decimals here. So if it is going to be four decimals, it will be 2.3840 or 4 either way. 2.38.40, 2.3840 or 41. 
See, initially this question paper came in HCL, subsequently it comes in CTS and it also has come in Accenture. So the same question can come in three or four different papers, but idea is you should know how to work out the problem. Subscribe to my channel, I will be adding questions every now and then.